Okay, so it really depends on how you define labor shortage. And e economists define labor shortage based on you given the wage, and then at that wage level, whether you have enough people to come or not. And I guess the current debate is mainly discussing whether we're really running out of people, physical people, and so that in the city you can't have any more rural people migrating into city, and therefore um, we have to upgrade the industry and then get the uh, low labor intensive output. And I, I think the, uh, if we base on that physical um, definition, then China is not really running out of labor, physical labor. And the reason we have the, the city labor shortage is mainly due to the current institution generated the, the cost of living in the city for migrants are very, very high. They have to pay additional cost on social services and social welfare relative to their local counterparts. So that's, that's the main issue um, of this debate. So and to me, we, we, we did this um, survey of migrant workers for the past seven to eight years. And in the survey, we ask migrants, so what preventing you from staying here for a longer time? So the issue is, if you have a labor shortage, that is the stock of labor not enough. And if the churning is very, very high, and the, the people only stay for a shorter period, then the stock will reduce. So that's why we ask this question, why, what preventing you from staying here for a longer period? And the first priority to them is children's education. And they say, if, if we can have cheap education in the city, we will stay here forever. So 70% of people saying that they want to stay here forever, but many, many different things. The second priority is education. No, it's the um, health. So these are the two top priority to them. So to me, the most important thing government can do is providing migrant kids with very good education and cheap education. The city education is already better than rural education, but the current government policy is to give money to the rural area to build schools where there's no good teacher want to go there. And instead of building good schools in the city where the good teacher want to stay and, and provide it to migrant kids. And I think that, to me, that's the first priority for the government. The, the medical care issue is mainly they don't have the, 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 the social um, provision of insurance. And the insurance are divided into two parts. There's a rural insurance and city insurance. And city insurance are paid by empo employer and employee combination. In many cities, employee contri contribution is quite low. And so it's mainly the employer have to pay this. But for each city, this increases empo employer's um, labor cost dramatically. And so employer have no incentive to pay for it. And, but the city government do not want to enforce the policy because if employer's labor costs increase, the growth rate will will reduce and they don't want that to be happening. So the city government do not enforce the policy, employer do not have the incentive to implement the policy and employee do not have in enough power, bargaining power to push that. And even if they do when the employer trying to collude with them to say, why don't I give you a little bit more of wage and I don't pay your insurance. And that will 
just be the case. So currently, I think in 2008, we have around 10% of migrants have health insurance. And the 2008 is the year they introduced this policy. And up until now, seven years down the track, we have 20% of people have health insurance. Uh, I think if, if I give you um, this, this data, you might get a better sense. So suppose currently we have 160 million of migrants. We have shortage. And currently they are staying in city for eight years. If we double their staying period, that means the stock of labor force will double. So that will definitely um, resolve some of the problem of labor shortage. And to what extent that will uh, reduce the, the cost of uh, um, the labor, I, I, I don't know. But I think it will dramatically change that situation.